table, inside, dot stable, no limit checks. Ready for capture. This is Mission Control Houston. Don Pettit will now take control of the space station's 58 foot long robotic arm, which you see on the left. And within the next few minutes, he will reach out and uh, attempt to capture this Dragon spacecraft, which is now holding at 10 meters away from the space station complex. Uh, two vehicles are uh, just now making a turn up to the northeast. They'll be passing over parts of Australia and New Guinea before heading out over the uh, Pacific Ocean. There is the closest view of Dragon that we have seen so far. You see the The team reporting that the arm is now moving toward Dragon. Once again, Don Pettit at the controls from inside the uh, cupola. He and Andre Kuypers are uh, taking a steady watch as the arm moves very slowly toward the Dragon spacecraft. The SpaceX team is reporting that uh, Dragon is in free drift. There will be no more engine firings at this point, so basically Dragon flying in formation with the International Space Station as Don Pettit reaches out with the arm to uh, latch onto it. Just a few more feet to go. A half a meter. They're initiating the capture of the dragon. Standing by. Capture is confirmed. Wonderful capture. You've made a lot of folks happy down here over in Hawthorne and right here in Houston. Great job, guys. Uh, Houston Station, looks like we got us a dragon by the tail. Uh, we're thinking uh, this sim went really well. We're ready to turn it around and do it for real. <laughs> Time.
The official mission elapsed time was three days, six hours, 11 minutes, 23 seconds. The two spacecraft were flying high above northwestern Australia. They are continuing on over the Pacific Ocean now. 